Hey guys, Rolga or Taylor here, and today I'm back with another Division video. And of course it's Thursday, so that only means one thing, that is a state of the game recap. In this one, don't expect a long one at all, it was a very brief state of the game, roughly about 5 to 10 minutes, and we only went over a small amount today. So the main focus was update 1.6.1. We know there's a lot of problems with it, and that's exactly what the state of the game was. We went over some of the problems and how they're addressing them. So first up, the problem with intents. At the moment, in some conditions, it sets not only the opposite player, but also yourself on fire. This is currently a really strange problem, but something they are working quickly to fix. There was meant to be a fix deployed last week that fixed the problem with exotic caches not dropping in legendary. Unfortunately, this wasn't fixed properly, and sometimes you still get a field proficiency cache. They're actually hoping to have a fix out tomorrow for this. Rapid also isn't working correctly. The 15% skill haste increase is working, but it also reduces the effectiveness of healing. This is hopefully again going to be fixed tomorrow. The NPC grenade stagger issue is also known about and something that's been brought up. Another problem brought up in 1.6.1 was the defib mod. Now unfortunately this isn't working as intended and is going to be fixed as soon as possible. Gabe brought up a problem that wasn't actually noted within State of the Game. That's a strange blueprint he's sure it's for the M416 that sometimes once purchased and rolled to craft an M416 it actually rolls an ACR. They're going to investigate this a little bit more and see if that is a problem or it was just one select instance. That sums it up for what's on State of the Game today, but before I do go, I do want to mention that they are still going to be releasing 1.7 update news as soon as they can. Unfortunately, that wasn't in today's State of the Game. I'm sure if they do have news to announce, you'll hear about it over on their Twitter page, which is just at the Division Game. I'm sure when they do announce news, it will be done on a special report over on Twitch. Like I said, it was going to be short, and it really was. Unfortunately, that's all we've got for today. If you did enjoy this video, then make sure you either let me know by leaving a comment or by hitting that like button. And if you're new around here and want to stay up to date with all of the Division content, then make sure to subscribe. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.